Hi Girl Scouts, Miss Katie here coming to you from Lynchburg, Virginia with the Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline Council. Today we are earning our Ambassador Photographer Step 5. I'm going to go through though and tell you all the steps to achieve this if you want to do it on your own. Step 1 is explore the power of photography. Step 2 is focus on composition. It says here to shoot 5 landscapes. Step 3 is focus on light. Shoot 5 portraits or still lifes. Step four is focus on motion, shoot five action shots, and step five, tell a story with photography, which is what we're doing today. Um, so before I hop in, I want to give another shout out to all of our current members. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. If you are interested in joining our council, we would love to have you. And if you're already a member, please remember to renew your current membership. Okay, so today we're going to be working on creative storytelling. I'm going to do this with my um, Fujimax camera. It's actually a sharper image camera, but it's like those um, Fujimax ones where the, the um, portrait pops out instantly. So I'm going to use that. And I thought it would be cool. I have sitting next to me a box of my special things. And I thought I would go through that with you guys and pick out the things that mean the most to me because today's badge activity is all about telling your story. So who you are and what your life represents. And like I said, I have this big old box of things I've collected over the years. And I'm gonna kind of go through um, that with you guys and share some things with you. And then to tie in our photography element, I will take portraits of uh, certain trinkets that I've collected over the years. And I was thinking about this when I was prepping and ambassador girls are getting ready to go off to college. And I was thinking, you know, when you guys do go off to college, you can't take everything with you that you had back home. So this might be a really good idea to make a collage of some sort of the things that matter most to you. And then you can hang it in your dorm room. So just an idea. But now that I've gone over that, I'm gonna clear my work area. And like I said, it's a big old box and we can kind of go through it together. So let's see. Here it is. Like I said, I've been, I've been collecting. And I guess I will show you how I'm gonna do this. Let's do this. So I have my um, piece of paper that I'm going to place my portraits on. But first I'm gonna do some digging in my box. So let's see what I'm able to find. I have a diploma. I've got a flag from Madrid. Here, I guess I should start here. So let me tell you guys, I guess, a little bit of um, my story because then it'll make more sense as I dig through my box. So a big part of my life is um, traveling and new experiences. I've been fortunately uh, enough to go to a lot of different countries and, live in, and to live in a lot of different places. So in my box, you will likely find a lot of different um, cultural elements that I've collected. I spent time in um, Barcelona and Madrid several years ago. And like I said in earlier videos, I actually lived in Zambia. So I have a lot of really cool things that mean a lot to me and that I will pull out and share with you guys. Okay, so let's keep going. And then I'll kind of explain as I go too. So let's see. This is actually a little keychain that I had engraved in Zambia. It's actually an old, um, some type of nut from a tree. And it has my name and it says Zambia on there. So that might be cool to take a photo of. Let's see. I've got some pictures in here and I could just use those and add those to my collage. I've got some old cards from my mom. got some medals from the sorority that I was in in college. That was a lot of fun. I don't know if that's the most meaningful thing in my life. This is actually my um, immigration um, permit because I worked in Zambia, so that would be cool to take a photo of. Oh, here we go. This is Antonio Gaudi's I believe it's uh, Casa Batillo. It's in Barcelona. It's an old, um, really cool, it's a museum now, but it was a, um, a building that he designed that I thought was just beautiful. So that's kind of cool. I might put that in my collage. Let's see, passports. And the whole point of this activity is just to make it your own. I've got lots of tickets. I love going to art museums. Let's see. Went to Monet's house. That was great. So 
I might do a combination of pictures and tickets and different things. Make it really personal. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Postcards. Okay, let's start here. So, now, what I'm going to do, put things over here. I am going to start to position um, things on my canvas, and then I'll kind of add as I go. So I did um, start collecting things before I started, and a big part of my life is my mother, and here is a picture of her when she was um, younger, and I just thought that was so cute. So that is definitely gonna be a part of my collage. So I'll put that, let's see, down there. Okay, let's take a photo of this, because while I love this, and I would love to add it to this canvas, I think I eventually wanna get a frame of it. So I think what I'm gonna do is take a picture of this picture, and then I can add it to my collage. Make sure the camera's all ready. Okay. Oops, I forgot. This is the first one. Hold on, I'm gonna have to do it again. <laughs> when you put in a new pack of film, you have to always do a trial one. That's done, I'll add it too. And then I can preserve the original, which is great. I do think I'm gonna take a picture of my um, temporary employment permit for Zambia because that was such a significant experience in my life. Maybe I'll hold this one up, that might be cool. These are the kind that you have to wait. So hopefully those turn out. Okay. Let's add some other pictures. So I've got all kinds of photos. Let me see if I can find some of my travels. Here's a picture of me and a friend at the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Love it. I think that's in Paris. It was a long time ago. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe it's in Florence. I can't remember. Anyways, loved it. Let's see. And some postcards. So I actually got engaged in Greece, so I collected a bunch of um, great postcards. So maybe I can take some photos of these. Beautiful. Oh, this is a good one. This was my um, um, invitation to my graduation for my undergrad. So that would be cool. Okay, I think I've got enough stuff. Let's check how these photos came out. Uh, I tell you, I'm still getting the hang of this Fuji Max. It's not the best, but that's okay. So let me see if I can try to make a collage for my collage. That'll be cool. Let's try that. Put you guys down so you can see what I'm working on. Some family elements in there, which is 
very important to me. I wish I could find something from the trip. Let's see. sharing. So I actually collect these um, rocks from different places. So this one is from Mackinac, Michigan. Um, I can't remember where I got this one. This might have been in Johannesburg. Um, oh, I have so many. Here's another one. So maybe I could take pictures of my rocks because that's kind of something that I'm collecting. is important. So I also collect sea glass. Let me show you guys this. Definitely take a picture of this. Check it out. So fun to find. These are from different parts of Athens and Mykonos. We got engaged on a beach so I collected a lot on that trip. So, okay, I'm going to try to, I have plenty of material, um, I would love to keep showing you my box though, um, so I'm going to try to position the things that I've chosen in cool and interesting ways so I can add them to my photography collage. So this is coming. Okay. All right, let's do this. Seven left. So I'm gonna take a picture of this. That's from college. And I'm going to take a picture of my sea glass. Maybe my hand would be cool. Let's try this. Those kind of signify lots of cool places that I've been to. So now let's just play with time because these have to finish developing. stuff. So while I'm waiting for that, I can kind of rearrange some of my things. Check that again. Wish I had a bigger canvas. I've got so much cool stuff. So I'm going to take one of these out because both of them say Greece. So we'll do Mykonos and then Greece. Put Mama in the front. Do a picture of me and a friend. And then we'll just play the waiting game for these guys. It came out cool. Still developing, but here's a crooked picture of my working mm -hmm. hermit for Zambia. I think it would definitely be cool too to just take pictures of you with friends, especially if you're thinking about doing this for your dorm room wall. Just go around and snap some photos with you and friends. And I've seen really cool things where people, um, especially with these types, with the little portraits, where they arrange them on the wall to look like different shapes. Like I've seen hearts that are pretty cool. So there's a lot that you can do with it. I've, I've seen them um, hanging on a line, like using um, safety pin, no, not safety pins. What are those things called? Um, close, close pins. <laughs> so that would be cute. There's a lot that you can do. Okay. Come on, photos. I'll shake it. Here 
here is my um, it's my lunch for college invitation that's still developing. Let's see. Put these two together because they're both square. Don't need that one because I'm keeping my postcards as a part. flight to Barcelona actually. Alright. What do you think? I have a couple left. I want to get I wish Nilla was in here. I would take a picture of my dog. She's outside playing. think I think that might be it for now so let me try to flip it around so you guys can see it super cute so like always just kind of make this your own sorry a little wiggly um do what you want with it Capture what's most important in your life. That's kind of the whole point is to tell your story and use different things. Use tickets, use postcards, really anything you can find that's significant to you in your life that you can look at and it'll hopefully uh, bring you joy in some way. So that is Ambassador Photographer, step five. I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend. Bye.